This is how you're doing yeah. the picking of mushrooms. So how? So, so there's um, different types of boxes of mushrooms that you pick uh, as you first start. There's different sizes, so different boxes get different sizes of mushrooms. Right now, it's just taking all the larger ones, putting in the blue box the, into this box. Uh, just make sure that that makes that opens up the uh, the bed a little bit, and then you can start picking all the smaller mushrooms. So she takes all the large ones, and as you can see, if you look at her hand, and try to take the camera up ahead. So she grab, she's grabbing several at a time. Come on this side, so you can say from this side. So you can see, follow her hand. As you can see, she's taking several, several large ones at a time, grabbing them, and then she cuts the stems off and put them, puts them in the box, kind of follow the mushroom in the box. So usually, yeah. what's the uh, how many mushrooms you have to put in your your hands? Uh, when you to get this decent speed, you got to put uh, at least three. But if you get better, you could put four or five. But if it's larger mushrooms like these, you probably could get three, maybe four. If it's smaller, you get four or five. You know, depends on how good and quick you are, right? Oh. So it's all about grabbing uh, grabbing them a certain way, uh, as you can see. It's the way she's grabbing them and what she's grabbing and then, then she puts them according to sizes so you got the larger sizes and then you got two different sizes there as well a medium and smaller so we're putting all in different size goes in different box and she said uh, as she's taking them she's taking them by size she's separating them she's taking what's ready what's not ready so all all that has to be considered right so is your production of mushroom always the same every day or there are days that you have lots of mushroom to pick? Yeah. So uh, the flux uh, production fluctuates depending on what stage each rooms are and how many rooms are in productions. Uh, some days we have little less as they are in a different stage. Some days we have more when we have multiple rooms in full production so you'll be a longer days and more mushrooms. So it'll go up and down based on whatever the stage of the rooms they're in. Okay, in, in this room, how many pickers you usually need in this room to pick the mushrooms? How many workers? This room will probably have about 30 plus workers in the room. Um, and this room, which is uh, in full production today, it will, it will take about four hours to pick. And you told me that at least you know if it is four hours a day, uh, four hours in one room. So in one there's day not, you can open at least four. No, or five. no. If there's ten rooms. Doesn't mean it's ten times four. It's not forty hours. Some rooms are half hours. Some rooms are an hour. Some rooms are a couple hours. All on different stages. Depends what stage they're in. Yeah, and according to what product, how much uh, needs to be picked in that room, so it's a little different in every And room. why there are like workers here down and there are workers up? Uh, there's multiple levels, so there's two levels. We have beds that go up uh, five high in this room and six high in another room. And that, uh, so that up there we'll need uh, some people working up there to pick the top beds, right? It's too high to pick from down there. Okay, so um, like they can sit down or they can stand. What do you prefer like for the workers to do when they're picking mushrooms? Standing, sitting down or? Uh, well, no, sitting will probably not, but maybe for the bottom bed, you may have to sit a little bit. For the most bed, you're standing or you're on a step stool. Uh, and then, you know, you conform to what is easier for you, but there are certain ways you do things. And usually standing, uh, and, and there's a certain technique and certain way you pick that makes it easier and faster for you to do it. So what Nicole is doing is, is probably the best way of doing things. Like oh, okay. She's at a right height. She's uh, standing on a stool that brings her a certain height. So the middle, the middle bed she's picking is but at you, you right don't, level. Yeah, but you don't have like preference about the height of the worker or the build of the worker. The uh, workers have to be able to pick all three beds to show them all three beds. So they have to be able to. And when they're down here, they have to reach up there, and they have to reach halfway across the top bed and then there's this middle bed and the bottom bed here they have been able to reach all three beds and then they have the ability to uh, pick upstairs as well so they have to go up there and pick so okay. yeah so in your farm how many rooms you have right now we have 20 rooms 
20 rooms. So in every day, how many rooms do you open? For oh, yeah. the in production, there's always six to ten rooms in production every day. Okay, and uh, how about the you know the timing? Timing. It's it's the same. Like they start six thirty, and what time they finish? They start sixty, and they finish when the work is done. Some days they may get done at two three o'clock in the afternoon. Some days they may get done at seven eight nine o'clock at night, depending how much production is that day. Okay, and in one day, how many rooms do you open? In one day, I mean, in terms of picking, yes. we pick about six to ten rooms a day. Okay. Some days a little more, some days a little less as the cycles go. Each, each room, uh, each room we pick for four days, and then we let it grow for four days, and we pick again for four days. And then each every room is staggered, so you always have something in production at all times. Okay. And your workers, of course, pick mushroom like differently some are fast in picking some are you know medium some are slow no yeah yeah but uh how many days uh, do you usually train the pickers when they arrive here uh we train them usually i mean it takes uh, a day or two to know what you're doing it may take a week or two to get really good at it but then it's up to the pickers if the pickers are smart and they're good they could pick it up in a week if they are not and they're slow, it may take them a month, right? Three, four weeks, depending on them. But once they pick it up and they know what they're doing, uh, they could uh, they could pick a lot of boxes. Yeah, and in one week, how many days they're supposed to work? They work six days a week with one day off. But the day off is not always weekend. It could be any day of the week. I can't have everybody off on the same day. Okay, okay. 